In this video, we're going to use draft analysis tools on our plastic housing. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to do a follow-up to our plastic part design series, and we're going to take a look at applying a draft analysis tool to our design. The first thing that I want to do is I want to hide all the electronics inside, and I'm going to focus on just one body. So I'm going to hide the bottom housing and just take a look at the top housing. This one was a little bit more complicated because we had the opening for the SD connector and we want to make sure that all of the edges where we're going to have our positive and negative portions of the mold meet, that they do have the appropriate draft. So the way we're going to do this is by going to our inspection tools and down to draft analysis. Now draft analysis will allow us to select a body, in this case the upper portion of our housing, a pull direction, and in this case, I'm just going to select the bottommost surface of our lip because that is planar, it is flat. And you'll instantly see that things turn green and red, and there are some blue colors on here. Before we worry about what we see on the screen, we need to make sure that we set our draft angle. For us, we're going to go between minus one degree and positive one degree. We want to make sure that everything has at least a degree of draft. There is also a tolerance zone. So if you're dealing with a curved part that might go between positive and negative draft, then this tolerance zone can be handy for you to identify those areas. In some cases, when you're dealing with manufactured parts, oftentimes what you're looking for is a specific minimum draft analysis. But if that happens right at the edge of a parting surface, sometimes you can get away with it. In this case, I'm going to turn off the tolerance zone because it's not going to be applicable for our design. What we want to do here is we want to make sure that all of the inside surfaces are green, everything that's going to get pulled from this direction, the bottom. And I want to make sure that I am on perspective with ortho faces, so that way when I go to the bottom, I'm looking at a pure orthographic view. Because we made sure that we could see all of the faces from this view, we know that we have draft on everything in this orientation. But what happens to the opening here when we go between our core and cavity of our mold? Well, if we rotate this around, we can see that those inside faces are blue. There is this small sliver here that is green, which is good because this is on the inside. This is part of our fillet on the inside, and that needs to be pulled from the inside. However, everything that's blue actually gets pulled from the outside. So if we view this from our top, again, what we should see is these faces are visible. And we did a lot of work to make sure that that was true. We created some surfaces, and we made sure that we had the applicable draft. So this tells me that everything is perfect with this design, that we have at least one degree of draft everywhere, and it is manufacturable. If we select OK, it's going to place the draft analysis inside of our analysis folder, so we can toggle it on and off at any time. If you want, you can also take a look at the bottom housing to make sure that we do have the appropriate draft. I'm going to create another draft analysis, this time on this body. I'm going to select my pull direction again as this face. And once again, I want to make sure that we're going between positive and negative one degree. You'll notice that it set this at a positive one degree. We're actually going to go negative to positive. The reason we do that is so we can see the faces on the other side. Now, as we rotate this one around, you can see that we do have a potential problem with this hole. All of the openings for the cables passing through are fine. The board posts are fine. And everything on this portion of the design is fine. However, the inside portion of these bosses looks like it's red, which means it doesn't have enough draft. In reality, they should be pulled from this direction. And when we zoom in, you can see that there is no draft. We don't see the faces. If we flip over to a top view and we look from this direction, it doesn't appear that we can see those faces either. So this is telling me that it appears we don't have any draft on those faces. Let's go ahead and say OK, and let's decide which direction we want to pull them from. Because this is a counter bore, we could pull them from either direction. But I want to make sure that I pull them from this direction. It'll be a little bit easier based on the manufacturing of the mold. So I'm going to go to Modify, Draft. We need to select the pull direction, which in this case, I'm going to select that same face of the lip. And then the faces that we want to draft will be the inside portions of these bosses. We can manually drag this on the screen, or we can enter a value. If I say one degree, notice that it changes those holes. If we view them from the top, 
now we can see them from this direction. I'm going to say OK. And now we should see that we at least have draft on those faces. I'm going to go back into my second draft analysis and edit this. And I want to reduce this value to minus half a degree and positive half a degree. And notice that it does come in fine at green now, but we're somewhere in between the range of that minus one degree and positive one degree. So again, we have to determine what is required by the manufacturer. If we need to add more draft, or if the thin wall in this case is going to be problematic, we might need to increase the thickness on the outside of the boss to make sure that we're okay there. But this is a great tool to identify these problem areas that you may have just overlooked during the design phase. So in this case, I'm not going to go any further with this housing, but it was important that we at least showed the draft tools to make sure that we understand how to identify any potential manufacturing issues. If you have any questions, please let me know. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.